And I'm going to sleep. Oh, what? What? Oh, God. Stop it. Hello, everybody. and Welcome back to another video. Before we start, I just want to make a quick check up on everything that happened in the last episode of Voices of the Void. I am good. <laughs> Trust me. I have I had people asking me what is going on because I lost my mind in the last episode. I was complaining so much. People ask me if I'm actually good because they've never seen me complain that much. It's not that I was angry or anything. It's just I feel a little disappointed because Again, like I said in the last one, and I will also say in this one, I'm a little disappointed with the direction the game is going in because I feel like the game isn't something that should be heading in a specific direction that it's heading in right now. And I just voiced my concerns. I'm not mad. I'm not going to stop playing the game or anything. I'm good. I'm not angry or anything, even though it sounded like that. I'm... I apologize. I'm really sorry about that for people that are actually concerned about me. Thank you for voicing your concern because that really made my day. People actually asking about it and stuff. But this is not about me. This is about the game. And um, just so you know, I will be done complaining after this video for the most part because in this video is gonna happen again not as much as in the last one but i will definitely like at least i think the first half or something i am not i'm still not editing this video so i don't know how long it'll take i still have some stuff to say i am explaining myself a little bit in the video which i really had the need to do right now as well just so you know what's happening and stuff again i'm good this game isn't going anywhere at least for now i'm just voicing concerns i just want the game to be a signal simulator, you know, not a life sim, not a chore sim, not a whatever. If they at some point implement guns, because we already had that teased, if they actually have gunplay inside of this game, you can almost bet your entire ass that I will probably stop this game, because this is a direction the game shouldn't go. I'm just gonna say it straight away. There's like one or two things that will actually stop me from playing this game in the future, but for now, so far we're good and everything I still have to complain about will be basically done and dusted in this video. In the next one everything's gonna be back to normal, I will chill out a little bit more, I will be my normal and relaxed self and everything's gonna be fine again. Nothing will go wrong, at least I hope so. <laughs> thank you for listening, I hope you enjoy the upcoming episode 4 of Voices of the Void and thank you for watching. Hello everybody and welcome back to Voices of the Void. So, well, welcome back, welcome back. After the last episode, you probably think that I abandoned this game, but no, I will never abandon this game unless uh, there's gonna be a lot more different stuff to complain about. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, I want to say thank you for everybody that was at least understanding of my opinion of the game in the last episode. Just so you know, this video currently that you are watching right now is being recorded at the day of the third episode going live, you know, being the last episode. And I already had the chance for like two hours, roughly, to read some comments and uh, hear your opinion on my opinions. And um, I gotta say, all of you, or at least most of you, you know what, I, I'd say so far all of you are quite understanding. Of course, there are some people with the argument that the game is still in pre-alpha and there is still stuff to be polished, and I 100% agree with that. I really do. I know the game is still in pre-alpha, it's still a very experimental thing. It's not supposed to be perfect. Nothing is supposed to be working perfectly. Nothing is supposed to be flawless. Nothing is supposed to be without any issues. I know that. But my main reason of complaining last time was just basically the um, pathfinding curve thing because it's super annoying because you spend 500 bucks on this guy and like 50% of the time this guy is completely useless because he can't really pathfind to where he has to go and you have to move out yourself which is super annoying. And of course you gotta understand that because for me if you want to update one thing but break another thing at the same time you have to kinda change the one thing and fix the other thing 
at the same time and then bring out the update. That's just my understanding of stuff, you know. I'm not a coder, I'm not a game dev, I'm I'm not gifted in any way to program stuff and I never will be. I'm just completely honest with you, but I gotta say, I feel like people are a little scared to to voice criticism. Oh, we have to check tier 2 and 3. Uh, do I do that now? I think I do. This game in this state so far is very underwhelming. To put it lightly, and I know the dev is... Am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going the wrong way. Ah, it doesn't matter. I feel like people are a little afraid to, f to like, voice any complaints because I had enough of my complaints to, to voice to you guys. A lot of you kind of shared the same exact problems that I have, basically. You know, some of you actually came forth and told me that they're having a lot of issues themselves with this update, that they don't really enjoy the way it's going. Where is this transformer? Oh, I'm here, I get it. And um, I, I don't know what it is. It's like people are afraid to say something. And I feel like that's not correct. Because even if you... Let's say I didn't say anything the last time, right? And I just kept everything to myself. Everybody else would do the same as well. Because, of course, right? Nobody's gonna go out there and quote-unquote slander a game dev and, and his game. I still love the game, by the way. It's all good. I'm not hating the game. I'm not stopping to play the game. I just want the dev to know if he actually c comes across this channel for some dumb reason. I want him to know that there's a lot of stuff people don't like. And maybe we should actually look into complaints more than trying to pump out as much content as possible. Because for me... Quality always came before quantity. And for some reason, this is kind of seeping through in this game. I mean, yes, you could argue that better textures are better quality. But for me, it's kind of not. It's just new textures and that's it. Just because it's better graphics, better textures doesn't make the game any better. The game fundamentally is the same. And even with stuff like the boss fight in the last time you know a, a lot of people said you're right it should it should maybe locked behind a setting that boss fights aren't a thing unless you want it to be or um one person said um that you should be able to dig out the abandoned curfus yourself to fight it if you really choose to do so which is also an option because you know it digs itself out and tries to attack you because why not, uh, without you wanting to have any boss fights or whatever. And some people were like, it's fine as it is. And I completely understand, I completely respect your opinion on this, because there is stuff I enjoy where some other people don't enjoy it, and the other way around too. You guys enjoy stuff that I really dislike with a passion. It's as simple as that. Nobody will ever be happy without any complaints in this game, that's a fact. That goes for me, that goes for you guys, everything. But I gotta say, this is a signal simulator, right? Basically. You know, it's 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 a it's a fan game of signal simulator trying to be a lot more entertaining and a lot more interactive. And it is. So far, it 100 percent is, I gotta say. But the one thing that kind of throws me off in this game a lot is the fact that we have so much so much meme stuff right i was watching back the oh of course uh do i teleport ah oh, screw it i'm gonna teleport i'm sorry i'm gonna keep this to a minimum if i can in this episode what was i about to say for some reason i forgot what i what i was about to say oh yeah what i, what I was about to say the last time i put in this argam well whatever command in the console and you know i was actually watching back the other video a little bit and saw like actually saw and I don't know registered the command prompt it spat me out in the console which said find that mofo and yes it's funny at first but then you kind of think about if words or you know sentences built like this actually are supposed to be in a game like this it's all fun and games until it becomes a little too too much meme heavy if you want i don't know <sighs> again maybe it's just me but maybe i'm just completely bitter about it maybe i'm just a crybaby could be the case too i really don't care but again this is supposed to be a signal simulator please don't misunderstand anything i'm saying right now i don't want to complain right now i just really want to shed light about the fact that nobody is talking about stuff they don't like about the game too much which they should 
Okay, we got the hash codes for today. That's good, at least. I'm gonna send away the box. I'm gonna go to sleep, yeah. And yeah, this is basically what I want to, you know, say. And I want to bring out there because, I don't know, if people are just afraid or they really don't want to be on the bad side with the, with the dev or anything. Which doesn't really make any sense or any difference in the long run. I'm gonna play this game regardless. If I have to complain about it, I will. If I have good things to say about it, I will say those good things but if i have to complain i will complain of course because the game at some point isn't fun anymore you know because i put the example that this game is a chore fest at minimum oh my god i didn't call the i didn't call the drone yeah that's me being completely stupid again i should maybe do that yeah what i was oh my god why please be inside of here Nope, of course not. Foxtrot. Do I trust Kerfus with going there and fixing it is the thing. Activate. Use. Please, dude. Please. I need you right now. I keep forgetting what I was saying. Oh yeah, one person said, uh, because I kind of, not, not really jokingly, I really meant it. I said that the game is becoming a chore fest and it's becoming kind of a life sim at this point because you are, you know, you're maintaining your own character more than this entire base you know what i'm saying and one person hit the nail on its head pretty much and said that this game is becoming a job simulator i mean it's supposed to be of course but you only have one job right and not 50 other jobs because because you know you're getting cancer and you have to do something about it you have to do boss fights which since when is this an rpg and you know all this other stuff i don't get it i just don't Oh, Curvis actually did it. He actually did it, the guy. Oh, great. I'm gonna try and get Curvis Omega this time. I don't know why it keeps adding stuff into the cart, which is super annoying. Okay, I won't build Curvis this time, but next time you guys have to put in the comments which Curvis you want. Please do so. And if you see a comment with your Curvis that you want to see, please upvote or like the comment because... I don't want to see one specific version of Curvis like 200 times in the comments. Like, you know, we don't need that. Come inside now. Jesus Christ. Uh, if you just, if you see your own wish for Curvis in the comments, just like it. And we will build Omega next time because we can afford another one. I will, of course, upgrade some stuff today, but I will try and end this episode with at least 500 money. I'm gonna go to sleep. And yeah. Just tell me what you want and we'll build this thing next time. If your wish doesn't get through, I'm sorry. I can't please everybody just like this game. Can't please everybody at the same time. If we can build a second Curvus, we will do so in the future. If we make enough money and then we can have a second one with another model, build, whatever. Okay, I'd say day one is almost over for this episode. I'm done complaining for the most part. It's just become midnight, hence the drone. And let's just hope we don't have to fight some weird bosses or whatever the hell is going on in this game currently. I will still say some stuff here and there about the- STOP! About the game. But uh, just know that I'm not bitter, I'm not sour about uh, the dev doing this stuff. I just want the dev to know that, you know, there is stuff that people don't like and Foxtrot again. And that he has to kind of, you know, at least acknowledge this stuff. Because at some point it's gonna get ridiculous if this continues as it currently is going, you know. Ah, oh, I have to open the door again. You need to be able to open the door yourself, mister. Go. Uh, I'm gonna... Leave the stuff outside that just came here. You know, this is just a peace of mind that is kinda laying heavy with me right now. I really, really do like the game, but I don't like the direction it's going in. So, um, please pardon me if I am complaining a lot sometimes, especially when it comes to curves and stuff. But, you know, it is how it is. Can't really do anything about it, but we gotta live with it, for now at least. Let's just see how uh, how long we have to live, uh, live with it. Good, we are full on sleep. We're currently already working on a new box, and I have to upgrade my station because everything is kind of going a little bit too slow for my liking let's see upgrades curfus is actually coming back which is good i'd say uh, everything is gonna be so expensive transformer stability i need that too radar i can completely ignore i'm gonna try and get everything somewhat at the same level server stability i'm gonna need a lot of this 
pain cooldown as well, why not? I think that's good. Oh, we got these again. That's cool. So this seems to be the treehouse event now. Kerfus should be back, there he is. Still can't make it up because why should he? And we're just gonna hang out today, see what happens, if something happens. Oh yeah, I should maybe kill all everything. And again, as I said, I really enjoy the game and I really want the game to succeed in the future if the game actually comes out on major platforms like Steam and the dev is actually, you know, bringing out a full release version and he really is charging money for it, which I really want him to do at some point because this game has a lot of potential, but... I don't know, I, I feel like this game is getting a lot of updates regarding personal interests from the dev and not actually what the community wants. I, again, I'm sorry if I have to say that, but this is just how I feel about all of this. It's kind of weird. I don't know really how to describe it because, you know, I'm, I'm not the best person to handle the English language, but I try my best. But again, for everybody that commented under the last video, either sharing my concerns or even trying to, not trying, but defending, actively defending the dev for, you know, working hard on the game and it's still, uh, you know, it's, it's still being pre-alpha, I completely understand. Don't get me wrong, I really do understand. But there is, again, things that don't really make much sense. At least for me. Maybe I'm just bitter and want the game to be like I want it to be or what I personally enjoy the most. But again, what we're doing right now, this like, you know, again, this like window cleaning because I have nothing better to do with my life right now. I don't think I should be doing this right now, right? I should be cleaning the base or I should be maybe, I don't know, doing some other stuff in the base, cleaning up uh, upstairs, everything, everything but this. I don't know, built in another console that has to do with something completely different that is doing some other stuff maybe a console that needs you to actively sit on it like some hacking stuff and i don't know maybe hack the company you're working for to get some extra money here and there i don't know something something to keep you occupied and i don't mean getting cancer and treating that i don't mean running after curfus because he's stuck everywhere i don't mean cleaning up this entire base because there is at least like i think 200 or 300 of these of these trash piles you can clean up in your base alone i'm trying my best not to be sour and too like hostile against the game but these are just uh, these are just things that concern me a little bit i want the game to succeed more than anything else because this is one of the very few games that i actually actively play right now i want to be playing this game i want to have fun with it too but sometimes i have a hard time actually you know having fun especially when 50 percent of the time when you send out curfews you have to run after him we'll see what the future brings we're gonna be hopeful for the future yeah maybe this game will turn out as a complete and utter banger where i have nothing to complain about at some point could be the case too but i gotta say also the same chance exists that the game will at some point be so far down the drain that you cannot possibly enjoy it anymore you know you have to also consider that everything can be the case or could be the case in the future and i'm ready for basically everything because i was let down by games that had so much potential a lot of times you know i'm just kind of nudging towards the early access program on steam which was a flop more than it wasn't and i'm a little bit cautious this is why i voice concerns about stuff like this which has to be addressed at some point or at least listened to. I don't care if something's gonna be done about it, but I just want everybody to at least have my opinion on it. So, currently, nothing happening. I see the window actively getting dirty again, which is really, really frustrating. Again, this too. This too. Why is this a thing? The drive is in. This isn't working until I put it back inside once again okay now this is object this is our spaceships thing is i need money i should maybe you know what pink cooldown take away a little bit store garbage bag rolls let's order this we are at zero money on the dot which is kind of satisfying sad and satisfying at the same time so we can get rid of more trash around the base or inside even i don't know oh god I don't know how much there is left. Quebec. 
Oh, Kerfus, can you do that for me? I think I need to open the door. Oh, it's open. Okay, have fun. Please be able to go to Quebec and come back. Okay, the drone is coming back. Maybe we can fill up this item box finally, because it's almost there. Cold piece, garbage bags, all of this stuff is good. I'm gonna get the garbage bag rolled, because we have some stuff in here as well. Okay, that should be it. Close that off. And you know, all of this trash business is also one thing that I really dislike since the 0.7. Can I get this off the couch, please? Nope, this is stuck. Whatever that is, that is stuck. That is just fantastic. Okay, everything in here is gone. Curfus is actually coming back. There is no way. And you know, one thing also about cleaning up this place is super frustrating because every time there is a new update, you have to do everything over again. Okay, let's Let's look for some more signals. Let's let Kerfus inside very soon. I'm gonna use up all my garbage bag rolls and then head outside and get all my hash codes because everything is in the inner circle, which is super fantastic. All right, so Kerfus, uh, you? I'm not gonna charge you, you're still on 63. Uh, right, more garbage. I can go to sleep soon again. This is also one thing that kinda messes me up, is the timer or the time you need to sleep to be full again. I'm pretty sure it was way faster in the 0.7. I don't know why it's so slow this time around. Maybe I'm just actually tripping and this is not the case, but I feel like it is. Maybe you can enlighten me on that one. <gasps> yes, we did it. The problem is now, wait, I'm gonna take out some coal pieces. Then we can take the coal and maybe for now put it like here. And now we can send away the item box finally. But before we do anything, you're still not done, okay. We're gonna send this away and just see how much money we can possibly make with stuff like this. Because this is like a mixed bag now with everything that I can, that I can think of. You're still good, this is fine. Right, is there something else? Quebec is done, so let me call all again. I'm gonna go to sleep just to pass the time a little bit more and of course get my money quicker. Oh yeah, and something I really need to be able to turn off via the settings are nightmares. You know, this is stuff that I really don't need most times. 450 for this one box? Wow. Okay, brother. That is nuts. 450? That's way more than I would have ever imagined. The box is almost full as well, which is perfect. Of course, you have a sensor error. I need to get success rate and cooldown because the speed of this thing is kind of okay. I just need the success rate to be higher and the cooldown to be way lower because the cooldown is atrocious currently. I need to upgrade that as fast as I can. Shouldn't there be signals here? Hello? Oh, there is one. So let us then ping speed, cooldown. You know, get the cooldown a little bit down and the success rate. All the way up. Don't care. Ping speed also. Yes. Okay. That's good. Okay. You're going. You're going. I need a note. Report template. Okay. So we need to go to Echo India Delta. I'm going to go to India first, which is straight south. Okay. We are on full sleep. We are on full hunger. And this day should go by without any issues. Hopefully. Again, next time, Kerfus time, Omega. We're going to have this guy back on episode five on day. What day is it now? 11. We're gonna play until 13, so day 14, 15, we're gonna have the guy, which is incredible. Again, please tell me which Curfus Omega you really want to have. One of the two that we're gonna be having in this playthrough, most probably, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the second one as well, if we can dig up the one radioactive capsule as well. We're definitely gonna have two at some point, and whatever you say about the next Omega that is gonna be done in the next episode. We're gonna build that guy and then we're gonna have another vote once we are ready to get our second Omega, which will probably not happen before we upgrade our upgrade modules in, in the base, like completely, fully. Otherwise, a second Curfus won't happen because we still have to get two Curfus for one Omega, which is expensive in its own right. We have to spend a thousand just to get one. We're gonna get the first one next time and the second one at some point in the future because for now one is enough echo i don't know why i like the word echo echo 
so cool. But you know one good thing is, uh, one good thing is the syrup bottle in the last uh, video actually did something. It apparently got rid of our coughing, which is great, which seems to be bound to, uh, to maximum HP. This is not supposed to be happening, hello? This has collision, but I can't really interact with it. Yeah, the coughing is gone because I haven't heard it once so far, which is just perfect because last time that was super annoying, which again should be maybe hidden behind a setting, the coughing at least. You know, max HP is one thing, but the coughing just no. But you know, we did it. We got rid of it. It was just a little little bit of experimenting around, but we got it in the end. And we are done with our daily hash codes. We are going back. We're gonna fill up our drive box, which should be like halfway done already. And then we're gonna send it away immediately. And we're gonna try to get to 500 money or as close to as we can. I think we should be able to, no? Wait a second. Are we? Are we able to with only doing daily tasks from now on? Because it's only two left. We're gonna have like 400, I think. I mean, it should be fine. We have everything else. We have the hazmat suit for the radioactive capsule. So that's one good thing. Uh, what is broken? Please be... Yes. I can't seem to get another time record with these math tasks. So paper sheet drop, you are going here. You know what I could do is maybe I'm gonna order an item box and put in as much coal as I can and the remaining trash bags that we have and then send it away and see how much money I can make with it. I'm only gonna... Yeah, I'll probably only selling the small coal pieces like these ones and the bigger ones I will keep for now because we are we have a lot of them just lying around and if we actually gonna need them for something we'll still have enough there's still so much trash in here that i can sell i should maybe do that as well you know what i will do that when we have this item box full this drone is hovering so long over the base i don't know why and now to the good stuff getting rid of all these small coal pieces because they're getting super annoying and in the way oh we still have one of these oh see oh we have trash in here still how did i not see that i was in here like two times today i'm gonna go downstairs because i feel like there's yeah so many coal pieces still here okay i think i have most of these small coal pieces out of here i'm gonna go into the bunker in a moment as well this is done again this happened like the third time already dead zone leave dead zone leave dead zone leave basically uh the same whole thing over and over again something broken i could have sworn i heard something Apparently not. We're gonna kill all. Since we're here, you know. I mean, it's going good so far. At least there's that. Kinda happy that everything is working smoothly today. Every time I send out Kerfus today, he came back actually. Being all successful and stuff, you know, the guy. Gonna go down to the bunker and fill up this box with coal pieces. Did I already got rid of most of this stuff? Oh, it seems so. So there's nothing really... Wait, what if we sell those books? Are these gonna do anything? Probably not, but I'm I'm gonna try anyways, you know. You're probably screaming at me now. No, don't do it. It's too late. I can't hear you. This video is already live and you can't do anything about it. At least we can clean up this place a little bit more because all these books are just ridiculous. Who's reading books? Anyways, you know. We're almost full with this. I think I'm just gonna put in some regular sized coal pieces as well and just call it a day with this, I think. Use the drone and we are out of here. Nice. This item box won't give us too much money, but at least it's something, you know. At least we get something back for the Curvis fund next time. And the good thing is, I'm pretty sure from now on we will only send away full boxes because it's not even 4 p.m and this box is almost full there's just one slot left uh one of this is the drone this thing is still there i don't know what that is and i don't want to find out to be honest now the question is how much money do we get for this little bit of trash and these few coal pieces and this like i think one big coal piece is it gonna be enough to justify buying another item box Probably not, right? We should buy one anyways, but I think not yet. For what? 410 for all of this coal and this little bit of trash. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, that's insane. That is actually insane. What? Oh my god, dude. Okay, I didn't say anything. Apparently selling coal is the next best thing. Wow, okay. 
I didn't expect that, but I think now we can actually buy a lot of garbage bag rolls and get rid of basically all the trash that we have lying around in the space now. Store, item box, max card, okay then. Give me like 10 of these. So 120 trash. Oh, this is gonna be good again. We still have 240 left. Like, I'm pointing my mouse this way as if I was pointing at it. I'm so dumb, man. Oh my god, dude. I'm tired today. I'm sorry. My eyes hurt for some reason. They, it's, it, it feels like they have, like, pressure on them. It's nothing bad. It's just probably because I'm tired and I haven't been wearing my glasses lately. But my god, my eyes hurt. And I'm tired. And this, and this combination isn't great. Like, at all. But we're fighting through it. I'd say we're gonna first clean up the outside of the base. You know, this stuff, this stuff, and uh, in front of the base, this massive trash pile, this stuff here. Getting rid of all of this. I have to get rid of this eh, box before the next one comes. Okay, I'm gonna leave the gate open because we have to go outside anyways in a moment. Efficiency? Why is the efficiency so bad? Oh, file size is just enormous. It's almost five. And we have to- oh my god, we have to get drives too soon. I mean, that's, this is still a lot, but at the same time, kind of not. Well, you know, here I sit talking about getting this box filled up today still. We will, by the way, but it's gonna take some time with this one drive that is currently processing. There we go. Next one, email. Can't determine location. Oh my god, just as the second drone was about to- Get over here. You have to break. I need my garbage bag rolls and I need them fast. Nice, there we go. Oh, this is gonna take forever. I didn't realize it was, uh, it was four megabytes. It's a black hole. Wait. Oh, I think that's the thing from last time. This, like, massive thingy where the song is uh, inside of the signal. Let's get the garbage bag rolls. A really dense fog is setting in right now again. Really don't know why, but you can see it really. Drop it! Yep, that's 10. That's 10. Let's get everything inside. You know what? Let's do the inside first. I changed my mind. Let's see if we can get everything cleaned up with all the garbage bag rolls that we have. There's one thing left. I'm gonna take this with me. I'm not running down <laughs> downstairs again. There we go. I'm gonna put you like up there because I have to go upstairs anyways. Oh, this is gonna net me so much more money again. You know what? I think I'm gonna order another Curfus today so I don't have to do that next time. Just so we have this guy already and the rest of the money I can spend on upgrading the base. Okay, now we're doing some work around here. We're almost through all of these garbage bag rolls already and we're not even done with the inside of the base yet. What's to show how much trash there is in this base? I mean, it's good for making money, but cleaning up all of this is super tedious. Okay, this fog is super annoying. <laughs> Makes me... Oh, you know what? I'm gonna close the door. Makes me think something's gonna happen again. Okay, two garbage bag rolls left. Can we finish the inside of the base with this? I doubt it. Okay, what is it? Please let it be inside of here. Yes, dude. What is this? What is this effect? Looking mighty intimidating outside. I think this is the entirety of the base trash free now. I'm pretty sure. But we have still four bags left, so I'm gonna go outside, get rid of a little bit of this stuff, get inside again, close the door. I don't know if something will happen, but I have a feeling. I think I'm gonna order some more garbage bag rolls, I think. Yeah. 10? Do I do 10? Nah, let me do like six. Don't go overboard if I don't have to. Wait, what time is it? Okay, it's not even 20. That's fine. We're good still. We're good. Everything's fine. Okay, we can go to sleep soon. I need to send away the box. I, I must not forget. I think last time it was where I almost forgot to send away the box. No, it was the, uh, the, the second episode with the, what you guys let me know was the Black Fog event which I kind of missed half of the event of, but that's fine. Because you guys told me that um, normally in this Black Fog event, there is supposed to be like eyes staring at you from the outside, but I couldn't see anything. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe it is in the video and I just missed it, but I couldn't tell you. Like, I don't know. I really don't. I didn't see anything outside. Maybe I didn't look hard enough. Maybe I didn't look outside long enough to see anything, but I didn't. So that's fine. This thing is still there. Is this moving? It's like between Foxtrot and Uniform. No, it is at like Uniform. What I should do maybe is processing speed at least a little bit faster. And I think once we send back our item box with the trash and stuff, we should be fine with money again, especially when we send away this current box. Okay, and just in time, you are done. Yeah, it's like this choir thing. Outside you go. 
Activate. Okay. That's good. Door is closed, which is perfect. Gate is closed. We're processing again. This is going. And I can almost go to sleep. So we're gonna get like 250, I think, for this current box. Yeah, it should be like around 250. Maybe even 300 because of the daily task done and stuff. For some reason, I was just about to go outside and take care of this... Uh, of this trash but i'm not going to not in this darkness outside and this lamp just switched on this is also so weird to me i don't know why that happens all the time with the lights going off and on again that is so odd maybe there is an explanation i'm just too stupid to figure out myself but i don't understand that this lamp was just off and now it's on i don't know what that is about oh my god we got so much money 230 Plus 75? That's what I mean, we got 300. Oh, this is so good. I really want download speed to upgrade and stuff. Oh, maybe I should do that. But I want Curfus as well, you know? I want Curfus too. I want a second one, just to have him already. Okay, let's get all of this processing done as much as we can, so we don't have this much lying around here. Because now we have to actually catch up with all of this stuff. You know what I'm gonna do? Sensor success rate. I'm gonna take a few points away. Store. Curfus blue. Yeah, let's do Curfus blue and order this thing. Doesn't really matter which one we get because we're gonna dismantle this guy anyways. Or you know what? Maybe that was a mistake because of the color. Ah, it doesn't matter. We won't... I won't get a pink one anyways. We got the red one last time. And if you really want to see the blue one, we can get the blue one. But, you know, who really cares at this point? We're, we'll probably get a completely different curfus assembled anyways that doesn't have to do with the plain colors anyways so yeah that's fine and i think i'm actually gonna lock away this curfus because i don't know if i should be trusting the fact to have two so i'm gonna put them inside here and close the door just in case this thing becomes alive on its own just like this guy did in the last one you know just to be on the safe side just to be sure I'm not trusting these guys anymore. Ah, it's just... Ah, it's only 11 p.m. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna queue in the biggest signal I have. This is 1.4. Let's see if we have something bigger. 1.6. There we go. We're gonna queue you in. Dwarf Planet 1.6. Queue something in here. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. Let me first get another signal and then I'm gonna queue everything in at once and then go to sleep. And I'm just hoping that nothing happens because I really hate not being able to sleep. I'm gonna call all right now. Okay, we got our email. Quebec Lima charlie that is okay that's not too bad from the ground like an undead yeah we had that one collect report template and i'm going to sleep oh what what oh god stop it oh boy oh boy i'm not opening this i'm going back to sleep of course i have to open it stop Okay, nothing inside. Bravo. Well, that's just great, isn't it? All right, we are back. Hello, hello. Ah, uh, we have to kind of slowly go visit all of them again. Jesus Christ. Why is that so loud? Apparently no text data or anything. Well, this banging was unnerving. I'm really hoping that it was just a sound effect what actually happens if you open the door immediately once you hear the very first bang you know like you open the door in between in between both times with the door banging do i not have anything queued in am i dumb what am i doing it's 7 a.m it's supposed to be bright outside at least a little bit it's getting darker again because of the fog that is like creeping in again charlie Oh, Bravo and Charlie, that's actually not bad. Wait a second. Bravo and Charlie, I have to go to Charlie anyways. So I'm gonna go to Charlie and Bravo and fix them myself to get this little bit of money. Oh my god, why is this always happening? Yeah? What's that supposed to be? Okay, do we head outside now? We should, right? Alrighty. Now, we need to go to Lima Charlie Quebec. So I'm gonna go to Charlie first, repair this thing, hash code, then Bravo, and then Lima Quebec. I think that's good. Should I already start putting out 
What's it called? Shrimp? Is it time to start already with this stuff? I don't know. Nice, okay. Then we go to Bravo. We have to fix him up. Okay, Bravo is fixed. Now we go to Lima. This should be Lima. Then we go to Quebec and then we are done. At least with the hash codes for today and repairing the servers. I could have sent Curvis, but you know, when Charlie is broken and you have to go to Bravo anyways, it's just right next to it. Why not fix it yourself? Get the money for it, you know? Doesn't make any sense sending Curvis out. It's just five credits, but with the two servers that we have repaired, we can already afford a... What's it called? A An item box. Okay, now we go to Quebec and then we should be done. And the rest of the day we're spending inside again, like the goblins we are. So I have a question. Now that we have new textures, even for trees, even completely new tree models, are moving trees still a thing? Like walking trees? Because I'm pretty sure I haven't seen anything moving very slowly on the radar lately. Maybe I'm just not as observant this time around. Maybe I don't really care about it too much, but I feel like I haven't seen anything just yet. Okay, that is Quebec. We are leaving back home. We're gonna do a little bit more work. We still have one entire in-game day to go in this episode. What we should be doing is maybe, since we are out here, maybe go to the Transformers. Maybe the two on this side. Transformer 2 and 3 on the northwestern side. Yeah, this is Transformer 2 and then... Three is like all the way up there too at Romeo. Oh, and you know what? I'm just thinking about something. If day 50 or like 48, 49 ish, if that is the last day where you get the last like story events or like, I don't know, story progression events, whatever you want to call it, how about you get a prompt? I don't know, maybe you get a letter, you have to reply to it and send it back or something. And answering the question if you want to continue working here like in this in this place if you say yes you get like an endless mode where there's like one oh my jesus christ dude why yeah like roll around half an hour why don't you that was close probably would have added another half an hour on top of it and if you answer yes to continue your work you'll get like the usual event that will let you continue your work as normal and if you click no let's say you really want to end the playthrough with the last event it kind of changes you get i don't know you get an event like a follow-up event if you answer no you get a follow-up event and depending on what you do towards that last event i don't know there's like different outcomes right either the planet will get completely nuked or or like this 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 i don't know this compound here will get nuked or you will get abducted while outside or something like that just to kind of end your playthrough you know that'd be somewhat funny too oh my god like you see what i mean you always have to put up with the shit it's insane the same thing again it's like a two foot drop and we have to roll around like an avalanche down the mountain thank you for wasting my time jesus christ you see what i mean this is kind of exactly what i mean you can go like two feet without falling and whatnot. I'm cutting out a lot, by the way. That's the thing, too. Okay, we are finally, finally back. Curfus is still here. This is all done as expected. And I have to go check if nothing broke in the meantime. Juliet, of course. Yep. Activate and use. Go ahead. Juliet is south from this base. It's like... It's like there. I really hope he can do that without getting stuck, preferably. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. This thing is still there, whatever that is. It's probably one of those deer again. And I'm not willing to find out, to be completely honest with you. What I could be doing in the meantime, because this is taking forever. I could go outside and get rid of some of this trash again. Because there's just so much for some reason yes i could use this for curvis so he can get back inside the base again like we did last time but i think this time around i am just fine with carrying him back inside nice 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 this is looking good the first two garbage bag rolls are done i'm gonna close this up man this is so much trash this is gonna give me a lot of money i think because the item box is almost full okay i really think curvis is stuck again because this guy is kind of not returning ah look Look at this. Look at that. Why are you even trying? Talking to myself, by the way. Why am I even sending this guy out? Like, why do I even bother? Why do I not just go myself? See, he he probably just went here, beelined it straight towards Juliet. 
Is this Juliet? I think it is. Look at this. Again, if you just would go from this angle right here, you just make it. And I'm gonna teleport my ass back because I have nothing to do with the stupidity of this robot. Again, this stuff. Lovely. We have six drives again. Wow. I'm gonna kill all. I'm gonna let this guy inside. Okay, 52. You know what? I'm not gonna charge you just yet. You're still fine. Okay, this is going. You're going. I'm gonna put in a drive. I have to oh, soon order more. Aye, aye, aye. We're burning through those so fast. Not enough to get rid of everything, but we're mostly done. You know what? I take it. This is like basically the rest of the trash that is outside of the base. I take that. That is fine by me. Nice. Everything fits inside. I mean, there's still like at least space for another one or two garbage bags, but that's completely fine by me. This is gonna be so much money again, which is just fantastic. It's day 12. I was for some reason thinking it's day 13 already, but it's not. Otherwise, I should have ended this episode already. Good stuff so far. I mean, we got a second Kerfus. We got a lot of upgrades already done here. I mean, there is still so much to do because it's getting so expensive, you know. All right, my guy, show me the money. We still have 15. Let's just see how much gets added to it. I need a coffee machine soon as well. Ah, man, I have to spend so much money. But, 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 you know, I need money for this too. And I need more drives again. Oh, my God. I won't get any drive racks, I think, because they cost me 50. Yeah, that's... Ooh, 380? It's actually good. All right, one order for these. So that's 150 credits already gone again, or money, whatever. Because 50 drives and 10 more drive boxes, which should do the trick for now, honestly. And the rest I can actually put in here. Download speed. Oh my god, dude. This is like, uh, I don't know. What do I do? I, I really want transformer stability and server stability as well, but this this is getting so expensive. See? All my money is gone. I just upgraded that six times. Maybe processing sp ah, I don't have money for that. You know, let's get some success rate. Why not? I should get this stuff inside. Oh, okay. 50 more drives. This should serve us for quite a bit. I know this looks bad, but we can do this collapsed us a little bit. That's fine. We don't need a rack. We don't need one. That's fine. Another drone coming soon with the drive boxes with 10 more, mind you. And we still have one. That's almost full, by the way. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, maybe that was a mistake. I didn't see those down there. Well, guess we have 10 more now. Wait, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 17 drive boxes now. 17. Why am I doing this? I mean, we have enough for a long time now, especially the drive boxes. Thank you. Uh, let's stack them here, I guess. Nothing better to do, to be honest. 10. Why did I get 10 again? We had so many still. It's fine. We don't have to worry about those for a long time now. We can send this away already and start working on the next one. Took us some time to get to this point, but... We're getting to a very comfortable spot again. And what I have to say is this is a good idea with the um, prices getting higher. But I think especially with stuff that is naturally very expensive, like transformer and server stability, I think it's a bit much. We are at 10 out of 16 and we have to pay 70 bucks to upgrade server stability once. I think that's a bit overkill, I gotta say. Maybe there has to be some balancing done. I, I definitely enjoy this system more than the than the previous one with, you know, being the same price for every single tier of upgrade. But I think this is a bit much. Maybe put in like, I don't know, maybe pick a range between if the, you know, if upgrade costs between 5 and 15 only do it with plus 2 or plus 1 even only and then if it goes from 15 to 30 or 25 it's plus 2 or 3 uh, maybe plus 2 because this seems so much it's and it's getting exponentially higher too i think at least Maybe I'm just dumb and I haven't paid attention, but it kind of feels like it because it's so expensive. Okay, thank you. Wow, 400 again. Wow, 112 plus 75 plus the 230. I really want to go server stability first. God, look at this money. It's already gone again. 
maybe one less and go to transformer stability like once let's take one away at cooldown transformer stability and then maybe some success rate yeah i really want to get as much of these drives processed or as many as i can today before this episode ends like all of these because this is just so crammed again i'm gonna put this note here and kind of sort through these if i can not sort but at least put them in a somewhat neat way okay let's just hope nothing happens if i drop this molotov okay we should be good um where do i put this maybe in the server room i don't want this to like fall over maybe put it like here you know leave it there i have this in my inventory all this time it doesn't have to sit there i mean it's going great isn't it we have so many drives again we have at least like 60 lying around here we have like drives uh, or drive boxes for at least the next two in-game weeks i'm kind of kind of happy with what we have right now right we have one more here because of the second curve is this thing is still roaming i don't know what that is and i don't want to find out i'm gonna close my door already and i guess for the rest of the episode we're just gonna hang out see if there's gonna be an event you know what what i should maybe do is just take a look up there but there's nothing no oh yeah what i read about the whole about the whole max hp thing apparently yeah handheld thermometer Left mouse button to check the food, temperature, or health of an object. Right mouse click to check your own health. But you know, 100, I'd rather just get some medicine, even if it's the, um, the low one, like the syrup. I'd rather get that and just swallow one or two of those and hope that I'm gonna be fine. You know, just pray for the best, but 100 just to check your HP is... A little off the rails i think again i'm gonna say my piece whether people like it or not whether the the dev likes it or not i just think that things have to be said at some point by somebody and uh, if i'm the only person to do so so be it if you want to crucify me for it so be it i really don't mind if you dislike my opinion i'm just here to voice my concern about this game and uh, i have all the freedom in the world to do so because this is a game i'm passionate about this is a game i really like what is up with this lantern with this like lamp post it turned on and off again just imagine you you're playing your favorite game and at some point they implement something where you just think to yourself what does this have to do with the genre of this game even and this is what i'm feeling with this game right now this game is becoming a chore simulator a life simulator you know if i want to take care of my my characters my my playable characters i just play sims right because i have enough to do in this game you know taking care of people and whatnot but in this game i want to be playing a yeah a signal simulator basically you know that's what it boils down to at the end of the day i want to play a signal simulator and not a life sim where you have to maintain your health maintain your i don't know what clean your base as if it was your own home you know it's all fun and games until until the dev slaps you with even more stuff to do you know in the 0.7 the new the new base came in all this trash was suddenly lying around you had to clean that up and stuff it wasn't enough with that now we have to clean the windows periodically which is also annoying as soon as another update drops and you have to kind of start over you have to also again clean everything and i don't know i i mean it's it's fine to make some money on the side but you can do that with other stuff as well you know just take my my little tip as if it was your own i really don't care if you like kind of take it and promote it as your own just get another console put it like i don't know maybe here next to this drive delete thing like you're like a little hacking console where you can just go to and start hacking away at stuff and making some money on the side you know if you're good and quick at it you can make i don't know maybe like 20 30 bucks with it every single day if you're really bad at it and not as fast as other people you still make like i don't know maybe 10 bucks or something every day it's still worth while is it not you know something like that getting rid of all this trash and selling it i mean you can still keep it in the game i mean it's already in why why remove it right you can still keep it in but reduce it a little bit you know reduce the stuff a little bit so you don't have to sit there and do this all the time like bring the focus of the game to this to this to this to everything that is in here 
all this technical stuff, all this technology stuff, you know, you're currently working with top of the line satellites probably, which are so powerful you can get signals from all the way out of space. You're working with high-end technology. Why do I have to take care of my stupid dirty windows? That's what I want to know. Why do I have to run outside and bring this trash away and clean that up? Why do I have to do that when all of this, all of this is here, you know? All of these are here. You know, we have 24 satellites in total. As if that's not enough to maintain. We have to now take care of this guy because he doesn't know where to go half the time. We have to take care of these stupid windows that are currently looking like they're like frosting from the outside with like with like um, ice and you have to clean up all this trash around your base you know all these trash piles inside the base are gone the base still looks like shit and that's what i dislike your focus of this entire game is here this entire thing is the game and all of these events that are happening outside of here are just a nice bonus and as one of my commenters put it quite well, there is a lot of stuff on the overworld happening that shouldn't be happening because it's getting a little too much. The game is getting a little too bloated with the game throwing stuff at you. Like I answered the person like metaphorically throwing rocks at you just to keep you occupied. You know stuff like this, what happened here with the like door banging. These are events that should be in the game more. And this like outside stuff with, uh, with the with the boss fights and curfus and whatnot, this should be kept to not a minimum. You can leave it as is, but kind of reduce this stuff a little bit. So when the game actually gets scary, you feel scared. You are scared. You are intimidated, you know? All of that. You need to keep the game fresh. You need to keep the game intimidating and eerie and scary. And you need to keep the player guessing. The player themselves have to be second guessing everything but sometimes this game is just so predictable again your main focus should be on this technology stuff this, these consoles these computers everything you know all of this should be the main focus of the game and not some 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 weird aliens and yes i know how they look like the chill i know how they look like these invisible cat aliens and i'm just gonna say it straight away this is not something that should be in the game because like I said earlier, this looks like the dev is putting in a lot of stuff that they personally like to be in the game. Whether the people like it or not doesn't really matter too much. And um, yeah, again, I know how they look like. I know what's being made out of those aliens on the internet. I've seen enough so far. And again, you can't take this game seriously. Maybe this game isn't supposed to be taken seriously. I can maybe, you know, respect that uh, that decision by the dev if they really want the game to be comical. But I have a feeling this game, even for the dev, isn't supposed to be comical. At least not for the most part. It's supposed to be scary and eerie and, you know, a little off-putting. But at some point, this, like, meme stuff and these like cat aliens which are super inappropriate for a game like this to be completely honest with you i think they kind of overweigh what is supposed to be in the in the you know in the foreground of this game what is supposed to be more present more prominent i think this like meme stuff is kind of dominating this game a little bit at this point you know stuff like this maxwell is something funny here and there you can do that this is completely fine um but you know i don't know yes everything is hidden behind the funny setting but without the funny setting you're basically just playing half the game it seems like because everybody in the comments is nagging you about turning on the funny setting and punching in like 5,000 different commands in the console and stuff and this shouldn't be the focus of this game again i don't know what to tell you this is my own opinion signal simulator the game that this game inspired to be even a thing signal simulator is finished like for me it's a very confusing game but a really interesting game and it does most things right i say most things because the game is lacking content like a lot and development has been shut down like a long time ago now but the game for everything there is the game is good the game is really good see that thing stuck again i have to go outside now hotel because why not i have nothing else to do yeah i i just don't get it and even running around here which is super eerie on its 
on its own, when there's nothing happening, this place is super creepy. But knowing that there's gonna be some invisible cat aliens, which are, again, super inappropriate with the models, I don't know if I'm a big fan. I hate it or love it, what I have to say, but all of this is just my honest opinion. Don't like it, probably never will. Again, pathfinding, this guy has to move like two feet to the left and he's immediately able to go. I'm getting tired, I'm gonna teleport my ass back because I have to go to sleep soon. Ah, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say, man. All of this is a little bit weird. Jesus Christ, Kerfus? Okay, it's just Kerfus. Ooh, I heard a super bad sound outside. I really hope it was just Kerfus. I woke up on my own, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna queue in something and then I'm gonna go back to sleep immediately. I cannot afford not being on full sleep. Okay, you want Lima Romeo Bravo. Romeo is a lot further away than anything else. Oh no, not again. Yeah, the spell's outside. I see you. We can see this thing a little bit more clearly this time. I'm gonna go outside and look at the thing so it disappears. And it's gone. Now we actually got a really good look at it. Last time was a bit weird because it was super dark and foggy. We didn't see too well. We saw it this time, so. By the way, all of this has some um, letters inside that spell the word outside. All of them have it, but just in different, in different order and on different positions in the email, but at the end of the day, it's it just spells out outside or tedious, if I remember correctly. This word combination all, um, also spells tedious. It's supposed to be outside, you know, because of going outside and seeing the ship right in front of your base. Right, we are back. Nothing happened, that is fine. These are back. Are they actually outside this time? Nope. They're watching me though. They are here. <coughs> oh, I'm coughing still? What from? Why am I coughing again? Oh god, dude, don't. Why am I sick? I didn't cough once for this entire episode. Why am I coughing now? Oh god, dude, this game really, really is out for blood today. Okay, so now use. I'm gonna tear off a paper. We're gonna get those hash codes today still. If it actually becomes a little bit brighter outside because my god it's almost seven and this is atrocious is the smokestack there no doesn't seem like it so do i put out shrimp already that eh, doesn't really matter i'm gonna get to that at some point anyway so we, sh we should be fine okay everything is going uh, i really want to wait for this but i can't i have to with this soon. Bravo Lima Romeo. Romeo is so far away, dude. Or you know what? What could be cool also to implement to have different stuff happen when you are tired. Not just make this sleep demon, this like sleep paralysis demon, whatever, appear. Just make shadow people appear. I know there is a shadow person, but you can't really get this or see this guy in the conventional way because you have to go way out of the map from what I heard. You know, have something like this happen, where there's like a really creepy event with some shadow people maybe, where you can see them around the corner maybe, or just in the corner of your eye, even, even if you look at them, they disappear and stuff. You know, stuff like that, that would be cool. Something that is actually creepy and not really like in your face like the demon. I mean, the demon is cool also, but most times you don't really see the guy. He won't even attack you, really, because most times you you don't let this guy manifest, really, unless you are actively waiting for this guy to, like, manifest and go after you. But it never really happens, right? Maybe you should have, like, one of these guys roam around instantly, but never really attack you, unless you are at, like, 0%. Okay, Romeo left, and then... We're heading back home, and the treehouse site should appear soon again. I don't know when this event starts, and I really don't care too much. Thing is, I will get my reputation back up with those guys. I won't try these like this like unfriendly route with always like stealing from them and getting unfriendly with them. You have to let me know what happens when you are like really unfriendly with them 
do they get inside your base and steal stuff or like slap you around? <laughs> Would be super funny, but nothing really I want to experience. I just want to know what happens, you know? Just tell me about it, what could happen, what you maybe encountered in this game, what your experiences were in the past with those aliens, because I feel like there's a lot of super funny stories that still have to be told. You know, I've seen clips from like old versions where people get like actually slapped around the base by these guys, which is super funny, but that's something I wouldn't want because I just hate and you already found that out. I really hate when the game wastes your time with stupid stuff and me being slapped around and having to get up all the time will probably annoy the ever-living shit out of me. So yeah, not not a big fan. This is Romeo. We are returning back home. I'm pretty sure we've seen most stuff on the map already, not just in this season, but especially in the last one. So we should be good on that department with um, exploring the map. I have to go all the way back around again and probably still fall on my ass. No? Okay, that's good. It was close though. You know, falling down and stuff is really cool, but I think we have to increase the safe fall distance by at least like double the amount that it is currently. You know, don't make it as insane, but you know, falling on your ass every single time something happens. You know, a, for me, a safe fall distance should be at least this height from like this first level of satellites down to the bottom. This, this at least should be a safe falling distance. Where you fall down, you could maybe stagger a little bit. Like you fall down and you get like stunned for like half a second because you kind of have to, you know, regain balance and stuff and your knees are kind of hurting because of it. But I feel like there should be a fall distance increase because this is, you know, super annoying. Especially just, you know, some rough terrain, a little jagged terrain. If you walk over it, you're fine. If you sprint over it, you kind of, you know, get sent flying. And then you're just off and straight on your face. It's not fun. It's really not. You know, stuff like this. For me, this should be safe fall distance with a little bit of a stagger. Maybe like a little stun. And you should be good again. All right, we are back. That was quick. We did that super quick. Probably mainly because we had nothing to repair along the way. Drop the sheet for the next time. That's done. That's done. And the other thing is done also. You're done as well. This doesn't work again. It's like probably the seventh or eighth time this uh, this episode because why not? Yeah, that's the same thing, just on level three. And with that, I would say thank you for watching. Again, please don't hate me for what I'm saying about this game. I still love it. I just have to voice my concerns. Maybe they're getting hurt. Maybe they're not. But who knows? Maybe the game has a really bright future ahead of itself, which I really hope. It's 10 a.m. I will clock out for today. I'm gonna take a break. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.